Oh my God, this this is just this is absolutely wonderful on so many different levels. Bob Ross, Charles Branch, me, nice. Bob Ross, Charles the Second Branch, cause everyone needs a friend. Me, holding back tears, nice. No. No. Today I'm wearing my Forgotten Tomb shirt <coughs> because depressive suicidal black metal and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to mask crippling depression and anxiety with memes because that's what we do right that's uh that's that's the the internet thing we uh we deal with everything with memes because they're relatable and uh yeah that, that's what we got memes and, and music we deal with it with music uh music's important uh which brings me to uh, our, our, our first meme here our first meme um loud music study reveals that listening to music at loud volumes can actually kill you Reminds me of a, a, a dad joke I saw on Reddit today. It was like being told I was going deaf was very hard to hear. Yeah, so there's that. Drinking too much water can actually kill you. So can drinking Windex. Well, not really. I mean, I guess it, it probably could if you if you drank enough of it. Uh, if you drink too much of anything, it could probably kill you. Um, but yeah, I, th I think really like if you if you drink a little bit, it, you're gonna get real sick. But I don't think it's necessarily gonna like kill you right off the bat. Like I think you would seriously have to drink a lot, like a, a couple whole bottles, like down them to die I, I don't know why we're even talking about that but okay so then uh, <laughs> if, if <laughs> so a lot of these are really old I mean like really old I, I've been sitting on these for forever because that's what I do but uh, you know <laughs> this is this one's great it if you're the old, you know, if you, I mean, your parents are like, hey, well, if all your friends jumped off a bridge, would you? Yeah, and you have this. Speaking of bridges and and, and water and uh, obviously drowning, uh, then we have this lovely boating accident meme. It's so weird, but it's like, I, I don't I don't know it it makes me chuckle and for some reason it makes me feel good. I'm masking the depression. Moving right along with accidents, <laughs> then you have this gym here. One of the uh, you know, stick the old fork in the socket. Or <laughs> is one of one of my one of my favorites. I guess I'm like a refrigerator with a burst pipe. Cool, but broken inside. Yes, yes, it me. <laughs> and then this wonderful one. <laughs> so it's one teaspoon of medicine a day. What if I accidentally take two? Well, that could be fatal. <laughs> Chugs the whole bottle. <laughs> Is, is this the uh, is this the number for the archery tournament? Yes. What's your name? I'll sign you up. Actually, I wanted to volunteer as a target. Oh, suicide kid. Hey, mom. Next time, don't tuck me in this. Tuck me in this. <laughs> 
Yes, Mom, yes. Put me in the ground. I love these because this kid is just like so chill and so cool and so like he's just he's tacky as hell you know he's got he's got his little shades he's got his little spiky hairdo you know he's got his shirt he, he just he, he looks like something that they got thrown out of a, a Kmart catalog from the 90s but you know it's just like so upbeat and like ready to die like, he's just like, yeah, I'm over it. Take me out, fam. Your hair is so rad. Do you use head and shoulders? Nah, bro code, I use this. <laughs> Ted and soulless. Soulless. Hey, dude, wouldn't it be cool if one day you woke up and you had... Duh, gonna stop you right there. Now, what would be cool is if one day... You didn't wake up. <laughs> I love this kid. And then, and, and then of course, while you're on the on the subject of sleep, it's like sleeping is nice because it's like being dead without hurting my family. I, I always like saying sleeping is like is like death, but without the commitment. But if you don't have a fear of commitment. <laughs> Me. I'm going through a lot. I should really talk to someone. Anxiety and depression. Isolate yourself from everybody and sleep instead. <laughs> so, so effing relatable, you know? I, I know you all know exactly what I'm talking about with this. I see it on the Facebook every day. And speaking of green puppets and uh, Facebook trash, we got the good old, just because you're trash doesn't mean you can't do great things. It's called a garbage can, not a garbage cannot. All right, so I want to take a second to talk about one of the uh, things that I use to help me personally with depression. Uh, it may seem weird and trivial and not make any sense whatsoever, but ultimately, I, I guess maybe it's the the novelty of it. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's just one of those weird little things in life that brings me a little bit of joy whenever I am at my lowest. And if you hadn't guessed already. That's right. Baja Blast! <laughs> Woo! Yeah. So back to the memes. Alright, the, these in particular are... <laughs> they're so me, but they're, they're, they're not. I mean, well, kind of, but not really. You know, this is you know one of my personal favorites. It's old. You've all seen it, but it's great. It's... <laughs> Me in the streets versus me in the sheets. It's a whole lot of crying. I sexually identify as crying. <laughs> and speaking of sexually identifying, I sexually identify as a measure of kilometers per second because I really want to fucking KMS. We all know what that stands for. Kill myself. But I guess on a more serious note, that uh, kind of brings me to some, I mean, somewhat serious, but somewhat funny memes, I guess. I guess. Um, you know, we've got, we've got this one where the friend, you know, we all, we all have that friend. You shouldn't say you want to die. There are people out there who are actually feeling suicidal. And then you're just like, uh, <laughs> hello, <laughs> yeah, I know, <laughs> trust me, I wake up every day, like, wondering if today's the day or not, you know what I mean? Like, the fuck? And, uh, you know, then, of course, we've got th th this gem, 
Stop making jokes about violently killing yourself. It makes others uncomfortable. We've talked about this, you know, and it's like you're talking to yourself because you go out with your friends and, well, if you have friends or, you know, if you're just on the internet and, you know, shit posting on Facebook like most people do, it's like, you know, you gotta, you gotta give yourself that pep talk. Okay, don't push people away today. Don't say something really morbidly depressing about ending your own life because people are going to start either taking you way too seriously or, you know, they're not going to understand that that's just how you deal with it or they're just going to think you're crying for attention they're going to tell you to go fuck yourself. Like, I, I don't know. We, we, we've, we've all gone through it. Well, I mean, if you suffer from crippling depression or anxiety or a culmination of the two or any other, you know, mental illness that may cause these things yeah you you know what i mean you you know what i, I mean but yeah you know I, I say these things because i i i deal with these things my myself personally um you know i'm i'm not bashing on anyone for how they handle their own depression anxiety mental disorder mental illness whatever however you want to however you want to classify it you know whatever you you may be going through um, we all have different ways of dealing with it. You know, I saw some, some meme that's been going around a lot lately. I, I didn't take the, the time to really save it or care about it or anything, but it was one of those like, uh, pills that are hard to swallow memes. And it was talking about, you know, shit posting about your mental illness online as opposed to taking any kind of real action or something, something to that effect. You know, and it, upon first seeing it, I, I was a, a little bit taken back. You know, I was I was a little bit upset because I'm like, well, it doesn't it doesn't really work that way in every case. You know, some people, but you know, I, <clears throat> taking a step back and like really thinking about it for a moment. You know, trying to trying to be somewhat open minded. Um, you know, I could, I could see the perspective. It, it, it does make sense. Like me personally, I know I'm, I'm supposed to be on medication and I choose not to take it. You know, I've been in and out of the men, men, mental health system a great deal in my, my early teenage years. Um, I had a lot of bad experiences, uh, with that. Uh, I had some really, really bad experiences with medication, and I just, you know, every time I've tried it, I, it, it's just, I, I, I shouldn't, maybe I should be taking it, I, I don't know, one, one of the major symptoms that comes with bipolar disorder is, is most bipolar people, um, will tell you at some point in time during their life, um, you feel like you can handle it without medication. You are very adverse to medication. And, you know, unless you're one of those lucky ones that finds, you know, after the whole trial and error going through switching up meds and, you know, some people don't have that period, but a lot of people go through having to deal with a ton of different medication before they find the right combination or even single medication that that works and you know just kind of changes something but you know i i haven't had that kind of luck or experience and i choose not to keep gambling with it you know uh i i choose to ride the roller coaster you know one day if i wake up and it's like huh everything is just completely pointless i have absolutely no interest no desire to go on then you know so be it statistically uh that given you know my age and the fact that i am not on medication um you know living with bipolar disorder it it's a, it's a high probability you know i've had a few people in my life that were i mean even psychiatrists that were like, i i don't understand how you've made it this far and honestly i never i never thought i would and but but i'm still here i'm still kicking 
and um, you know, I'm, I, I've got things in my life that, you know, give me a little bit of focus, a little bit of purpose, a little bit of drive, despite the fact that most days everything feels pointless, and I'm like, just send me into the void, please. Um, you know, there there are days where I I, I can handle it. But yeah, so I'm not knocking anybody is basically what I'm saying. You know, you're in control of your own destiny or how you handle your situation in your life. You know what's best for you. Um, I personally, I, I've tried to limit myself to how much just depressing suicidal shit that I try to post online. You know, I, I used to be really bad about it. Um, and, you know, it, it was, in essence, me reaching out, just, you know, wanting someone to be like, oh, I, I, I don't know what I wanted. I don't know what I was trying to achieve. But, you know, we, we do what we do. And there isn't always the best explanation for it. And sometimes we regret it. And sometimes it's ultimately a bad decision that, ends up making us feel even worse about ourselves because you know there there tends to be that backlash to people that you know want to criticize you and say oh you're always posting this depressing shit or you know uh they want to give their advice like they're dr fucking phil and they're not and their advice sucks and it's like hey why don't you just stop being depressed oh shit yeah Great idea. Man, oh, I feel so much better about life already. No, 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 no. But, um, so yeah, some of us, we resort to memes. And uh, really de dark ones, depressing ones, just ones that, you know, make you cringe a little bit. But, um, you know, it is what it is. And uh, don't hate. Which uh, brings me to... <laughs> this beautiful one, um, <laughs> friends, how do you come up with your jokes? Me, <laughs> a Psychology Today article. Thinking about death and pain makes people funnier. Death anxiety may promote humor creativity. I Am I reading that sentence correctly? Like, is death anxiety may promote humor creativity? I... Death anxiety may promote. I, I don't understand what I'm, I'm reading here. That seems like an incredibly grammatically incorrect statement, sentence. What What is that? Is that just keywords? I mean, I, I, I don't know. But, you know, uh, while we're on the whole studies thing... Uh, and, you know, dealing with mental disorders and depression, um, you know, a lot of people are single and continue to stay single and are tragically single as a result because it's kind of hard to function in relationships sometimes, and especially if, you know, two people suffering from, you know, the same or different uh, forms of mental disorders or depression get together, you know, sometimes it's complete and uh, utter chaos but uh we got this nbc news gym uh single people may die younger new study finds <laughs> single me and then oh yes take me out fam gilly please uh look who just joined the party look it's my boy what, what do you want to say what do you want to say to the people ish on you want to say something say something no Oh, cats help tremendously. I love my cat. So if this shit isn't relatable, I, I, I don't know what it is. This, this hits the nail on the head <laughs> while, we're, while we're on single memes now. <laughs> Human singles. Cries all the time. Listens to depressing music. Tastes like sadness and lean cuisines. <laughs> Guilty! <laughs> Versus craft singles. <laughs> Does not experience emotions. Because it's made of cheese. 
doesn't even have ears. <laughs> Tastes like cheese. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, God. Oh, perks of dating me. I don't know. <laughs> I really like memes. <laughs> Plentiful amount of self-loathing. Guilty! Can barely construct a bowl of cereal. Has crippling depression. Oh. Oh, good times. Good times. Uh, and then... Oh, God. There's so much. Oh. Friend. Best friend. Boyfriend. Girlfriend. Crippling depression. Only crippling depression has no end. <laughs> crippling depression will always stay by your side. Share to end your life. Oh my god, it's so dark. But it's so good. Oh. So this video is getting like stupid long already. And I literally have memes for days. Like I, I have hundreds of these. And I, I haven't even gotten to like the super dark like really really like suicidal stuff um and i i'm just i'm not gonna do that in this video but if you want to see another video where like i break out the big guns the really the really dark stuff um you know leave a comment like the video and hell if you want i'm not gonna twist your arm but you can push that subscribe button you know that would yeah, put a smile on my face warm my tired old heart a little bit um, but yeah, I'll, I'll do a whole video of like just really dark stuff and I'll keep the commentary to uh, uh, a minimum so you can just enjoy the, the, the dank darkness, the dank suicidal darkness and you know, you can laugh if you relate because that's, that's what we do, sad but true, it's a new dawn, it's a new life, no wait, how's that song go, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. Yeah. You know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Go ahead, cringe. It's okay. I just, I, I did it on the inside a little bit. A little little bit of me that's not dead it cringed. But, uh, yeah. So, that's it for this video. Uh, please like and subscribe. And I uh, got, some, got some awesome stuff coming up in the next couple of days. So, be on the lookout. Thanks for watching. And we're going to go ahead and end on a positive note. And I'm going to throw this random nonsensical meme in there. Just for a little bit of brightness at the end. For no reason. So random. Pow!